Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll see an example of body plot. That is the special case where we have to determine the system gain k and the gain cos of frequency will be given. Okay. So uh, this is the one kind of a special case of body plot where uh, the k value that means the constant value or gain value is not given. Okay. So let us see the example. So question is draw the body plot of the given transfer function g of s into h of s is equal to ks squared divided by 1 plus 0.2s into 1 plus 0.02s where you have to determine the system gain k for the gain cos of frequency to be 5 radian per second that means gain cos of frequency 5 radian per second has been given so according to this uh, the gain cos of frequency we have to determine the value of k that means system gain value isn't it okay so solution so there is only little bit change uh, uh, of the solution of such kind of questions where what we'll do in first step initially we'll assume k is equal to 1 so assuming k is equal to 1 and then we'll solve the uh, question as the simple normal body plot and then we'll uh, put the value of gain cos frequency omega is equal to 5 radian per second and then uh, we will determine the value of k. So let us see here k is equal to 1, we will put k is equal to 1 and s is equal to g omega as per the rule. So because the system this is in the standard time constant form 1 plus t1 of s, 1 plus t2 of s, so there is no need of changing in a standard time constant form. Okay, so directly I have uh, substituted s is equal to g omega, so it becomes g of g omega into h of g omega is equal to k into g omega square divided by 1 plus 0.2 g omega into 1 plus 0 0.02 g omega here k is equal to 1 so no, no need to consider k here the second step is find the corner frequencies so as we know that the finding out the corner frequency the corner frequency is nothing but the uh, coefficient term of g omega so here the co first coefficient of g omega is 0.2 and the second coefficient of g omega is 0 0.02 you can ask here also if there is the coefficient of g omega is equal to k because the individual term of g omega will not be considered uh, only the term which will be uh, in in, term, uh, in the form of 1 plus t s is considered as a corner frequency so there is only two terms which is in the form of 1 plus t s t1 of s and 1 plus t2 of s that's why there is there will be two corner frequency and the first corner frequency is 1 by 0 0.02 is equal to 5 radian per second and omega c2 is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.02 is equal to 50 radian per second okay the third step as we know that we, we draw the magnitude on the slope table which determine the contribution of uh, slope as per their term term so uh, we can see that here the first term uh, we have considered is g omega square the second term is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 g omega and third term is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.02 g omega as we know that how to determine the term of this uh, given task of functions so the single or individual term of omega with the constant term or the gain with the gain terms you can say system gain will be considered as the first term so here this will be nothing but the first term the second term will have the lowest corner frequency the, will be the second term similarly in the increasing order of the cor corner frequency we will determine the second term so this is the first term this is the second term this is the third term okay. so now the g omega square is the first term so the corner frequency it, it, it doesn't have any corner frequency the slope will be 40 db per decade because it has the g omega square that means s, 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 s square contributed 40 db per decade uh, uh, because it is the it is in the numerator terms that's why it is the plus 40 db per decade if it would be in denominator it contribute minus 40 db per decade so g omega square will contribute 40 db per decade and this is the first term that's why there is no change in slope next the second term is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 g omega the corner frequency is 5 and slope because there is a one term of g omega in denominator so slope will be minus 20 db per decade and the change in slope will be uh, 40 
minus 20 because initial slope was 40 db per decade and the contributed slope is now minus 20 db per decade so we will add this to and we will have 40 minus 20 is equal to 20 db per decade the third term is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.02 g omega that means the corner frequency is 50 radium per second and it it has also has a minus 20 db per decade slope because there is a one term of g omega in denominator and previous slope was I mean pre previous change in slope was 20 db per decade and now it contributed minus 20 db per decade the total change in slope will be 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 db per decade that means in this case we add the uh, slope isn't it means we can say that this uh, slope here will add here this slope will be will add if we'll have uh, i mean uh, some another term like the uh, fourth term and fifth term so again we'll add like this here whatever the uh, here whatever the terms will come we'll add these two terms and we'll get the change slope now we'll see here uh, step 4 in step 4 uh, we, we find out the magnitude at each corner frequency. As you know that we have only two corner frequency. So we assume two more corner, uh, two more frequency, which is one is nothing but lowest, and the second one is highest, and it is denoted by W L W H. So this assumption is uh, on the basis of the uh, first one lowest corner frequency would be less than omega c1 it you can consider it 1 0 0.1 any frequency which is less than 5 radium per second and here any frequencies which is more than 50 radium per second should be considered as the omega h okay so we will we'll have total four frequencies uh, if i mean we can say that the number of magnitude we have to find out will depend upon the number of corner frequency if we have two number of corner frequency we have to find out the four magnitude if you have three corner frequency we have to find out the three plus two five magnitude similarly uh, two extra magnitude we find out one is lowest and one is highest depending upon the corner frequency so next term step uh, five so in step 5 what we will do we find out the magnitude at each, uh, each uh, corner frequency and each frequency so first one is a magnitude at 1 at omega l is equal to 1 so at omega l is equal to 1 the for, uh, formula for this one is 20 log first term and it will be continued for first two corner first two frequencies so 20 log first term at omega l is omega is equal to 1 so the first term is g omega square so 20 log mode of g omega square omega is equal to 1 so the j because it is in more mod so the j will not be considered j will become 1 so the value of omega will put 1 here and 20 log 1 is equal to 0 degree. similarly for m2 again the same formula will continue here 20 log first term at omega c omega is equal to omega c1 is equal to 5 so the place of omega will put 5 here so 20 log again mod of or j omega square and it becomes 20 log 5 square that means 20 log 25 is equal to 28 db similarly for the third yani ki after third uh, magnitude after second sorry after second magnitude the formula will change and it will continue till the last that means the formula is change in slope between omega c1 to omega c2 because still omega c1 we have found out so omega c1 to omega c2 into log omega c2 by omega c1 plus the previous magnitude that means 28 okay so we can see here that uh, okay the slope between this is the nothing but value of
So, okay, so we can see here. The, uh, the change in slope between omega c1 to omega c2 is nothing but this one 20 db per decade and from omega c2 to omega h will be 0 db per decade that means uh, in this case while finding out the magnitude in this case finding out the magnitude so the slope change in slope between omega c2 to omega c2 will, uh, c2 will be 20 and log omega c2 value is 50 and omega c1 value is 5 and plus the previous magnitude 28 db so it becomes 48 db similarly the same formula will continue here after change in slope between here there is a some changes done some mistake here is omega c2 omega c2 to omega h this this will only change so omega c2 to omega h and into log omega h by omega c2 plus this value okay the previous magnitude is 40 so the change in slope between this one uh, change in slope between omega h2 omega c2 is nothing but this one uh, 0 db per decade. So here is 0 into log uh, 100 because omega h value is 100 divided by 50 plus 28 db per decade. So this, this term bec uh, becomes 0 and this is nothing but previous magnitude is 48 db. So plus so the total magnitude is 48 db, isn't it? So the next step is we'll plot this value. So I've drawn one uh, table where the frequency in radian per second is given and the gain magnitude in db has been given. That means omega l is equal to 1 is equal to we, we got 0, omega c1 is equal to, c1 is equal to 5, we got 28 db omega c2 is equal to 50 we got um, uh, 48 db and omega h is equal to 100 we got 48 so now we see here, uh, see here the uh, semi log graph sheet in semi log graph sheet we have to start <coughs> from 1 2 3 4 in this uh, axis we have frequency in radium per second and this side or uh, magnitude that means gain or magnitude in decibel so at omega l uh, we have started from 1 so omega l is equal to 1 at uh, 1 we have the value nothing but 0 db omega c1 at 5 the value we have is nothing but 28 db and omega c2 is equal to 50 this is the value uh, 10 20 30 40 50 we have the magnitude 48 and omega h is equal to 100 also we have the magnitude uh, 48 so we have just draw through the sketch we have uh, matched this uh, point and we have drawn the original <laughs> okay so uh, we can see here uh, we have drawn the border plot uh, this one uh, at omega l is equal to 0, omega c1 is equal to 28, omega c2 is equal to 48 and omega is equal to 48. So uh, from the question it says that gain cos over uh, frequency should be 5 so that find out the value of k. So we know that the gain cos over frequency is nothing bad, but Okay, so we know that the gain cos of frequency is nothing but the 0 dB line, the frequency at which 0 dB line intersect the gain plot. 
so we can see here to intersect the gain plot at 0 db line by the 0 db line we have to shift this plot i mean this gain plot towards downward with 28 db see because this is the 28 db line the point so we will shift it i mean the new graph will be this one new plot will be this one so that it zero dividend this zero dividend can intersect this uh, uh, gain plot at omega is equal to 5 radian per second isn't it this is the line of omega c is equal to 5 radian per second so this will intersect, that means 0 db line will intersect at 5. So this is nothing but uh, gain cost of frequency. So graph has been shifted towards downward at 28 db per second. Okay. Clear? So next. So now, so uh, from the body plot uh, gain, it can be seen that the 5 radium uh, at to make uh, 5 radium per second gain cost of frequency, uh, we should shift the uh, gain plot to 28 db downwards. So hence, what what how we can determine the gain? So 20 log k is equal to minus 28 db. Why minus 28? Because it is downwards. If it is uh, it is shifted towards upward, we'll take it as positive. When it is shifting towards downward, it is, we'll we consider it as a negative. So the formula is 20 log k. The k the gain is nothing but minus 20 db. So we can find out k is equal to minus 28 divided by 20 and nt log of this one that means 10 to the power minus 1 by 4 and we have the value of we will find out the value of k is equal to 0 0.3 so in this case the phase plot is not required because only we have to determine the value of system gain k when the gain cause of frequency is high radian per second so i hope you have understand that uh, gain cause of frequency to make gain cause of frequency 5 radian per second, we have to shift the graph 28 dB towards downward. So, this is the uh, a special case where we have to determine the system gain A when the gain cause of frequency is 0. Okay. So, thank you for watching. If you have any kind of doubt, you can uh, message me, you can mail me at harimohandai at the rate gmail.com. Okay, and for any queries, uh, you can see my previous uh, border plot examples. And if you have any kind of questions regarding border plot or any control system questions, then also you can mail me or you can message me. Thanks again for watching this video.